Hello and welcome to this week's Future Proof Plays. It's been a while since I've done one. Had a bunch of stuff going on this fall, but here I am and I'm playing a game that I think I've talked about playing since, I don't know, this summer at least. Um, let's see, I'm not hearing game audio. That's because my headset was too low. Um, so anyway, uh, this is Future Proof Plays. About every couple of weeks, Gregory, who is in chat, and I um, do streams of indie games that we think are in line with our video game studio's values. Uh, and our studio is Future Proof Games. Uh, <laughs> we make uh, small games that uh, focus on inspiring what we call audacious compassion, which is compassion for the strange and unusual and complicated. Uh, so we've got a bunch of games, and in fact, our games are on sale right now in a couple different places. There'll be some links that rotate through every 30 minutes or so, but um, itch.io, which is sort of the primary place we suggest people buy our things. Um, we have a, we're on sale there for 60% off um, all of our games. Um, two of our games, Oshuary and The Majesty of Colors, are um, also on Steam, so you'll get Steam keys if you purchase them on itch. And then we are 50% off on Ossuary and the Majesty of Colors on Steam right now until the 29th. So, um, so yeah, uh, links for that will come through. You can search on the sites or Greg will have them handy shortly. Um, but I'm gonna start with Welcome to Elk. This is a game by Triple Topping, which um, I did not entirely catch what the language is that's going to be, you're going to hear shortly in this intro. Um, I think this may reveal that it's Danish, uh, but I will be definitely doing at least some reading um, and then We'll see how it goes. This is a, a game featuring real stories with private information uh, removed and kind of remixed. And so this game purports to be about telling stories. So I'm kind of interested to see what it's doing. We like telling stories. I spoke to Anders about it was sent to him three times. Anders, han var født og opvokset på en vej, der hedder Pine Road ude i skovene. Og derfra gik han ind til Elk hver dag. Greg the cat is uh, in the room. I may have to remove him from the room. That was act one. Well, here we are, Mrs. Elk Island. We're finally here. Thank you, Jeppe, Jeppe, say Jeppe. Oh, and again, you can just call me Frigg. With pleasure, Mrs. Frigg. Ah, thank you. Shall I update the stream title? Oh, you've done so. Thank you very much. Um, okay. See, so I just need a moment to get these your supplies off the ship. Then I'll show you your way. Oh, that's a good scamper. Howdy. 
Just saw the fairy come in. Good to see you well, Jeppe. And you must be Frigg. Nice to see you too, Jan. Gotta be Yawn, right, Yawn, Jeppe? Right then, I guess I'll get on, get cracking on with this cargo. Yawn? Ah, it's so nice to finally meet you. My dad's told me so much about you. Nice to meet you too, Frigg. Why don't we walk on up and talk? Everyone's waiting at the hermit bar for you. Pepe, you okay loading everything on the trailer? Ain't no problem, Jan. Oh, but I mean... Oh, but I mean I'm fine to carry my own bag. Don't you worry, Mrs. Frigg. I'll bring your bag with the shipment I'm carrying. It ain't nothing. Oh, um, okay, sure. Thanks again, Yepe. Oh, right, I moved myself. Let's see if I can interact with some fish. Look at this walking. Look at this high Stefan ass. <laughs> this is the best. This is delightful. It's like everything is hinged right at the joints. <laughs> this is so cute. Wait, has someone just left a drawing of a life ring here? I'm pretty sure that wouldn't help me if I was drowning. Pretty sure. So I'll just take my hand off my mouse. There's nothing to do. That's funny. Yeah, that's just a drawing. <laughs> I'm not gonna get over this walking. Ah, okay. I'm gonna guess the only things really interactable are in color. Holy shit, this is so cute. First things first. Let me point out let me point out where we're gonna be working together. This here is my workshop. Wow. It looks so big. I can't wait to get started. Heh, <laughs> that's good to hear. But we'll leave that till tomorrow. Just want you to try to get your bearings. Okay, considered etched into my brain. Good. Great, let's keep moving. Yes, let us. Let us keep moving. <laughs> wow, is that a boat you're building? Sure is. Bit of a passion project of mine. It's going to be quite special when it's done. It looks great already. Well, thank you. I will say, immediate... Um, Thoughts are along the lines of Mirazione. Like, welcome to a town with some connection that we have. So anyway, how's your pa? He's good. Busy. Work keeps him busy. So he hasn't changed a bit then. He seems to enjoy it, though. He loves telling stories of when the two of you worked together. And he said I wouldn't find a better carpenter to study under. Heh, <laughs> he did, did he? Well, alright then. Guess we'll see. Yeah, strange sort of decrepit island. Um, partially constructed things and also, you know, quasi-refuse. Yeah. People who are a little strange, although not as strange as the other game. Those sure are some fresh fish. Uh... Um, that squid is holding a knife. I changed my opinion of what I just said about there not being, not being quite as strange. <laughs> yeah, I'm not getting any closer. Best me's in video games. Huh, this thing. That's just like a... It's just like a skull, right? Big bird skull.
Oh, okay. That makes sense. Big eyes. That looks like an outhouse. Here we are, the hermit. But before we go in, I should tell you. You've arrived during our yearly celebration of Mr. Nolan, or the old brewer as we called him. He um left quite an impression on this island. Oh, so it's not a happy celebration? Well, the man certainly rubbed people the wrong way. But we still try to have some fun with it. You see, the old brewer liked his lobster. So to celebrate, we all eat lobster and drink beer. But it's easier to show than tell. Come on, let's head in. I have not eaten very much today. I could stand to have something like lobster. Oh, cool. A vending machine. Hello. Uh -oh. Huh. That's not... I like a celebration as well as an excuse to eat near green cake. Here, here. Who's that cute little guy? Love a cute little guy. Ah. Uh, the knees. When will Mr. Nolan show up for his party? For the last time, Anders, he's dead. But aren't we all? Hi there. Mom, look at her hair. Shh, Freddy. Hi there, love. You must be Frick. Ingrid said we were getting a new guest. Huh, yeah, uh, actually it's Frigg. But nice to meet you all. Uncle Kefe is here. I was wondering when you were, uh... Oh. It's non-trivial to follow where the bubbles are coming from for some reason. Uh, I was wondering where you were getting to. Hi there, girls. It's nice to see you. Hi, Mr. Anders. Mrs. Frigg, I dropped off your bag at the house you're staying at. Oh, wow. Thank you again, Yeppe. Nothing to it, Mrs. Come here. Let me get you a drink. Trying to see how synchronized all the mouths are. Some people seem oddly in sync. <laughs> Next round, please, Bobby. Sue, hun, don't you want to pace yourself a little? Where's the fun in that? Plus, you know, you love it when I'm tipsy. Hi! Sorry, am I interrupting? I'm Frigg. Not at all, hun. It's a pleasure. Aren't you a sight on these old eyes? Oh, I knew I'd heard the name Frigg before in a general context. Okay. Come on, you, they ain't old. <laughs> My name's Sue. And I'm Bobby. I own and run the bar here on these rocks. How about I get you a drink? Aw, oh, thanks. Um, can I have a beer? Good choice, hon. Why don't you go mingle and I'll pour it for you? Thank you. I like my little tool belt. I don't know quite what's in it. I've got some some little tools in there of some sort. Uh-oh. Looks like we've got a stranger in town. Allow me to introduce myself. I'm Clara, the island sheriff. Uh-oh, a cop. And I'm Marvin, the island nurse. Come on, Marvin. Tell her, you ain't just a nurse. You're a real doctor. Wow, fuck you. But I'm not a real doctor. Martin. Sigh. Why, hello. How are you doing? Welcome. Technically, I'm the island's doctor. 
by process of elimination. Oh, cool. Well, my mom's a nurse. Oh, and my name's Frigg. Nice to meet you, Frigg. Likewise. Just make sure you uh, stay out of trouble, you hear? Wow. Smooth, Clara. <laughs> well, I'm glad you're excited I'm here. Welcome, welcome. Ah, and this must be her. How are you doing, Frigg? I'm Ingrid. So nice to finally meet you. It's really kind of you both to take me in. Well, well, it's our pleasure, and it's swell to finally meet Morton's daughter. I won't lie to you, living on this island ain't no picnic. But all the same, we're more than happy to have you here. Thanks. I'm excited to be here. Alright, one last group. Oh, this person's pregnant. They got a tractor on their belly. Sigh. It does warm me to see us celebrating my pappy like this. I thought everyone hated the bastard. What? How preposterous. Yeah, I mean, didn't you, like, close down his brewery? Well, um... Oh. Oh. Well, look. A new face. Hello there, my girl. Come introduce yourself. My name's Mr. Bo. Hi. Wait. Another mister? Like Mr. Nolan? Oh, are you fucking kidding me? The guy whose party this is for? Indeed. He was my late pappy. I just want to pause for a second. Does that sound like... The first name is Mr. Because it's very... That remark about another Mr. is very strange. This is my first coffee of the day, so... I'm... Even though it is quite late in my day... I'm still waking up. You gonna keep talking dead people, or are you gonna introduce us? Yeah, uh, yeah, if it's another, hmm. Oh, of course. Where are my manners? Frigg, allow me to introduce my house guests, Marge. Yep. And Victor. Babe, you're supposed to say something. I ain't no good at this shit. <laughs> eh, hello. Um, hi to both of you. Hold on one second. I have a cat who's on the lamb. You, come here. Okay. Uh, I need to finish my coffee before I hurt myself again. Oh no. <laughs> Stay safe. <laughs> See, for my very brief going, looks like folks in Denmark tend to just use first names. Okay. Which, I think, probably sounds like it tracks with being sort of a titled figure in town. Let's see. Oh, um, let's see. I'm tired of this yak, and me and the baby bump are thirsty. Ah, yes, yes, of course. My deepest apologies. I should get us drinks. Um, perhaps we can talk another time, my girl? Uh, yeah, sure, no problem. They were an interesting group. Okay, everyone. I'm not going to make weird hiccup noises. I'll end up giving myself hiccups. You all know what time it is? Time to play? Oh, no. <laughs> time to play the old brewer for the brewer bastard. Hey, come on now. Do we really need that kind of language? Ingrid, don't you start defending that man in my bar. Ahem. Oh my god, the walking. The walking is so good. Uh, if I may kindly interject, as the offspring of my dear departed pappy, I wish to say I do enjoy these traditional drinking games. Therefore, I give my approval on his behalf. See? There we have it. 
Okay, new girl. Frog. Come on, you're up. Uh, I'm not sure what I have to do. But sure, sounds fun. Uh, it's Frick, and what do I do? Here, just copy me. Oh my god. So, I did know there were gonna be mini-games. Okay, looks like you're getting it. I'm gonna start getting tricky. Do as I say, not as I do. Right, okay. I missed that little bit. Got it. Last round. Try to keep up. How do you have so much energy? Whoops. Wait, what? Oh, I am misunderstanding this weird rotating thing. Okay. also did not connect username entirely as well. Hello. Hi, Dre. Holy shit. I was like, I feel like I know this username from somewhere, but then, okay. This one gets harder as you drink. Fair enough. Uh, I have been meaning to reach out to you and see where you are in the world. So you and I We'll have to link up after this and exchange some sort of contact information. Uh, let's see. Well done, Frog. Uh-oh. Wow. Evening, fuckheads. <laughs> Burp. Mom? I don't get to say fuckheads on these streams very often. Not that I'm shy about cussing, but... Well, well. Who the fuck is this, then? Aw, oh, Leroy, my boy. Uh, nice of you to join the celebrations with us. Hmm, looks like he's been doing some celebrating on his own. Shut it. You know I'd rather drink my own piss than sh the shite you serve here. Victor, who's the new girl? Um, hi, my name is... Shh. Quiet there, my petal. Boy, you about to... Let's not rush things with that pretty mouth of yours? What content warnings did we put up? Because... Might not be one for this. <laughs> uh, she's some girl helping out Jan, Leroy. Is that right? Well, maybe she could help me out instead. Fuck knows I'm needing it. What is happening? Um, how about a cool beer instead, Leroy? I thought I said shut the fuck up. Is this his son? Can't you see I'm... <laughs> okay, harassment. Thank you, Gregory. Uh, can't you see I'm trying to be fucking charming here to my new special friend? As well as alcohol abuse. I, um, excuse me, but Frog here was my new special friend first. Sue, so, quiet down. It's dangerous. 
Har. Cute. But seriously, fuck off, would you? Me and Petal here are gonna go find a nice, quiet place to get to know one another. I said she was my friend first. Sue does have a bottle in her hand. I'm... I think the tables are about to turn. What do you think that... Uh, what? You think that piddly glass is gonna hurt me? Glass can hurt? Hmm. Sue! My Sue! You okay, hun? <laughs> so... What do you know? It doesn't hurt. <laughs> oh my lord, Sue. That was great. Again, again. What the? Oh, I'm done with this shit. Why don't you high knee your ass on out of here? Victor, Marge, let's get the fuck away from these weirdos. That means you too, Bowman. Me? Well, alright. Um, yes, of course. Uh, lovely celebrations, everyone. We'll meet again, Petal. Don't you fucking worry. It's hard, it's hard to be menacing with them knees. Good riddance. Let's all have a drink, another drink to wash out the bad taste. I'm, uh, just gonna get a bit of fresh air quickly. I wouldn't go outside, that motherfucker's out there. Uh, my phone's gonna die, and I get back to cleaning. Should I send an email? Yes, yes, please. Any of the email addresses you have, which should work. Poor thing. That man is the absolute worst. Have fun clinging, cleaning if possible. <laughs> Yeah, better go check on her. Dude, she's gonna get back on that boat. Get the fuck out. Hi, Frig. I'm awful sorry for all of that. Not exactly the best first impression. We have our fair share of problems here on Elk. And Leroy, he's one of the worst. I won't lie. He did make me feel uncomfortable. But... But I'm fine. I think. Everyone else seemed nice. But maybe, maybe I'll call it a night. Well, I wouldn't blame you. I'd better give you this map to help you around then. There's a house all ready for you. Uh, doors unlocked, so just settle in and make yourself at home. Oh, that sounds great. Um, you sure you can manage? You seem a little drunk. Oh no, don't worry. I've got this. Want you to know I can handle myself. Well, alright then. Guess I'll see you tomorrow. I better go back inside and see what's happening. It's nice to have you here, Frigg. Oh, gross. I guess I am a little drunk. I think I can see shrimp. Right then. Let me rearrange something on my screen real quick. Okay. Well, let's have a look at this map. Hermit bar. Seems like it should be a straight shot. I'll be at the house in no time. Whoa! Heh, they've got a big smile. I like the just a plain ass ring of light. Is a solid way to handle this. Hmm, I wonder if I'm going the right way. Best knees in the biz. All these houses are on sticks. Like hot dogs. Hmm. 
like little hot dogs on sticks. <laughs> oh. Yeah, it's like alcohol poisoning. So I'm not consistently walking in the direction in which I <laughs> in which I'm choosing <laughs> by the keyboard. Just uh in case my path seemed a little weird. You have to stop this. Hey, look! It's a house! Is this my house? This is a house. I don't think... I'm not convinced this is my house, but I do think I'm supposed to go inside. This must be home. I don't even care. So drunk and tired. Yes, the rambling drunk music is good. I'll work it out tomorrow. It suits the, the high knees. I'm definitely just pressing up and getting, <laughs> getting weird directions. It's good. That bed looks so good. Whose house is this, really? Ooh. Huh. Hold on a second. I have a little animal. It's been wandering around, yelling at me. I'll tell a, I'll pause and tell a brief story about this cat. So, Greg the cat, it's this animal, he's 15 years old, and when he was a kitten, I trained him and his sister out of, like, chasing feet under blankets and shit like that. Because it's a, it's a bad, it's a bad life to live when you have cats going after everything under blankets. And recently... I decided that it was incredibly adorable for this old man, yes, no relation, uh, that uh, this old this old man looked awfully spry, diving after things, so I, I sort of re-encouraged the behavior. However, I knew there was some risk that this could go badly, but last night, I, so for a while I had thought maybe he doesn't know that it's my hand under the blanket moving around. Uh, but last night, he grabbed and bit my hand, not under the blanket, while I was laying in bed, in the, you know, I would have put my hand under the, the blanket, bit my hand twice, like full mouth on my hand. Uh, and I will say that in the 15 years that I have had this animal, he's probably bitten me maybe maybe three times before last night and he wasn't trying to hurt me uh he wanted to play he really wanted to play he did not break skin um but he had been alone all day because i had been out and so he was really hankering for attention and so on but i i'm not getting bit on the hand at 2 30 in the morning absolutely not unacceptable i i had to kick him out of the bed altogether because he kept wanting to play uh so that didn't take long. Only a couple of weeks of, of <laughs> hunting fun before, <laughs> before it bit me in the hand, I guess. <laughs> but it's not his fault. He's doing his best. All right, back to this weird dream. Huh, I'm on a boat, but I only just got here. And who's that? a person from the party. <laughs> I did get entirely too close up in their face. Hi, Frig. What? Wait, I know you. You're at the bar? But aren't we still at the bar? Uh, is this the one that is this the one who was confused about whether the old man was alive? Yes, I think so. Oh, sure, Frank, we can be at the bar. Okay, Greg the 
cat. He can't lay down like that. Press all the keys on my keyboard. Whoa, this is unsettling. Holy shit. Is that effect coming through where all the lines are blurring and moving? Oh, yeah. See, I knew we were at the bar. Right? Faceless. Can I talk to the ones that don't have faces? Not really. Hi there. Hi there, Frig. It's so nice of- it's so kind of you to let me stay. And even though you're, like, old, I'm sure we can be friends, right? I mean, I'm not saying you're old. It's just that you are. Thank you, Frig. Um, however, if you were old, there's nothing wrong with being old, right? Uh, what I mean is, I'm just gonna stand over there. Look at my face. Look at my mouth. This is so adorable. Ha the Mr. Guy. Hi, Frig. You were funny. Not that it's bad to be funny. Wait, if it's bad, then it is bad? But I don't mean that you're bad. Unless you are bad. Thank you, Frig. Oh my gosh, sorry. I don't think you're bad. Now you're going to think that I'm bad. But I'm not bad. I'm just going to go. I'm sorry. You need a mosey. Nope, nope. Oh, hey! Frig does seem socially anxious. Which, you know, walking into a new town. Uh, look at all the faces on everything. Like, everything except the curtains has a little straight face on it. Or a slightly slanty face. It's pretty adorable. The jukebox caught my eye first. Oh, hey, hey, it's you again. Hi, Frig. You were the weird guy at the bar. And on the boat. Crapper, wait. I mean, you're not weird. I just meant that you look weird. I mean, okay, um, let's talk later. Oh, this is the worst. I'm the worst. Aw. Ugh. My head. Did I really say all that last night? Ugh. Hey, I'm sober again. Okay, time for a palate cleanser. I'm sure I'll be feel better once I unpack a little. Have we determined that this is your house? The build a house, talk, eat, kiss, and die game? From the makers of same, same, but different? and die game. Let's see, I know it's silly, but I can't help but carry this game everywhere I go. Maybe I'll get lucky and find a computer to play it on. Okay, computer game. Sims. Got it. I was thinking it was maybe the board game of life or something? This that sounds this sounds more interesting than life, so that now it all makes sense. I guess old habits die hard. Okay, what should I unpack next? I would in the same way and this is picking up the middle of a conversation that other viewers won't necessarily know. In the same way that I want a rim world that is less appallingly evil, I would like a different take on The Sims. I don't know what that would be, but I would like a different take on The Sims. Oh, my luggage didn't appear, so presumably in the right place. That's a good point. A uh, robo-troll was sent from the future to live under bridges and rock out. I like that. Good combination of things. Becky Block Blaster was one of my first limited edition toys, both playful and deadly. Dino Detective. Oh, look at them legs. 
getting straight A's while still finding time to take a bite out of crime. Mutant turtle bear mechanic. Always letting me know I can be whatever I want to be. That's so great. Oh, okay, I see. Another little tool belt in place here. Okay. You and me, Robo Troll, knocking out the new digs. Oh, I I was picking one. That's unfortunate. Look how cute this fire is. Wish it weren't so crap at heating up this house, though. There's more stuff upstairs. Looks like a fridge full of elk delicacies. Yum! Oh, picked this up on the day me and Mom walked around Dire Haven. It was, a, was on a warm, lush autumn day. Uh, no idea why this cat is stuck in toast, but it's so cute. Isla got it for me, and I just love it. Well, it's gotta be the cat. In honor of Isla, I will award you this prized little toasty, this prized spot, little toasty cat. I hope I make new friends here. Gonna be hard being away from home. Left Behind. I love this cartoon. Still can't believe they canceled it. I hope it gets renewed somehow. A road trip movie from Triple Topping. The Dead Pet Society. Which is a thing that they are doing or have done. Or didn't know. Something about dead pets. Um, I worship this band. I know they're still pretty unknown, but one day they're going to be huge. Yeah, shout out to the to the devs. Hope it isn't too long until I can see them live again. Phew, that's better. Although, real crapper, I can't see any internet? Hmm. I'll ask Yawn about it later. I really, I should really head down to his workshop anyway. Still feel pretty rough, though. Look at this picture, this walrus type. It's great. Can I make some coffee? Dead pets unleashed. Okay. Oh my god. Was that me? Oh, the vomit. That's horrible. It smells so bad. I really hope it disappears before someone sees it. Bad news, Suze. There's a fucking easel over there, which means someone has seen it. Hey, someone here is a really good painter. Looks like it's from something really cool. Ah. It does look pretty cool. I'm just curious what's up here. Ah. Nolan Manor, but Nolan is crossed out. I know I'm not going in the right direction. I just want to see what's up. This plane has a bub written on it. I guess we know where it fell from then. Fair enough. I I do really like this use of color. Um, of course, I guess I'm finding out that I'm kind of a sucker for a black and white hand-drawn style thing. Uh, I still really like... Um, Crayon, the coloring game. Of course its name escapes me right now. Uh, but I played quite a few hours of that. It's very good. The way there are little animations from things reminds me of those sto animated storybooks from the early 90s. Yes. Yes. What a cute suitcase. With beer inside? Leave that closed so it keeps in the 
in or out, whatever temperature. Is this their national flag? I cannot tell what animal that is. Like a llama? That doesn't seem climate appropriate. Although, I don't know, maybe llamas live up. Chicory, thank you. I knew it started with C, but I didn't think of what it was. I did stream chicory the first couple few hours. Um, highly recommended. Uh, it's published by Finji. Uh, it is on Itch as well as Steam, I think. I think I, I own it on Itch. So lots of places you can buy it. It might be on sale right now. Um, very good game. It goes places. It's very interested in um, how art, what the toll that art takes and the, the pressures that artists put on themselves in creating things and maintaining the presence of being an artist. Um, so, yeah, interesting game. That's cute. Ah, best, again, best knees. Well, it was a valiant effort there, my wooden signed chum. Recycle your empty bottles. <laughs> Bring them back to the brewery. There's just a pile on the ground. Some skis? Is that a Game Boy? Huh. This, uh, elk and some sort of very old fashioned. Is that an old Game Boy? I love this game. Now, the question is is there a way to play this? No, does not seem to be. At least not yet. Cliff path to Beth's place. Oh no. This is troubling. Oh, wow. It's called Spit Kiss? Spit Kiss Pinball. Ugh, I just said that out loud, didn't I? I don't know pinball machines. Other than... Yeah, I don't really know pinball machines enough to know if that is a reference to a particular one. So, I will say that for all of Greg the Cat's rowdiness a few minutes ago, he is now laying in my lap with one hand, one, his head is resting on the, my left hand where I am wazdying, and he is happily snoozing. Oh, Spit Kiss is trivial. Okay, that's cute. It's a previous game of this company's. How's it sinking, Larry? Very finny, Frigg. Hmm. That's a problem. So this is elk? Cool. Sometimes when I play games like this, and I have these trouble, this sort of navigational trouble with WASD, I wonder if I should be playing with a controller instead. But I also don't play games with enough controllers to clearly be like, yeah, obviously this is something I should be playing with a controller. Whoa, look at all the music on this jukebox. Astrid's famous cowboy hot dog. Okay, step one. Spread inside of the bun with mayo and mustard. Hmm, okay. I'm on the fence with the mayo. Uh, step two, place hot dog inside bun. Step three, add beans, cheddar, jalapenos, and chopped onion. Four, C 
cover with tin foil and bake an oven at 350 degrees Fahrenheit for 20 minutes. Holy fuck, that sounds amazing. That sounds amazing. I want that. Wait, is this an Astrid hot dog recipe? These are infamous. Wow. That, mm, I'm not like, if I'm at a restaurant that serves many things, I'm almost never gonna order a hot dog. But if I were at a hot dog place, I'd order that in a heartbeat. That sounds amazing. Right, I did have a destination. I thought it might've been there, but it's not. Oh, further. Mm. Knife boy. <laughs> I read we were talking about storytelling. We are. There have not been uh, stories told yet. I'm still kind of meandering around. Oh. Keep. I once sliced the tip of my finger off on a circular saw. I should probably keep that to myself and not tell Jan. Probably. Wood goes up, wood goes down. Obviously, I'm on top of the situation. Oh, it's the sheriff. Hmm, all right then. But if you need a hand, you just let me know. All right, the cat. Uh, that man is definitely nothing but trouble. Anyway, I'll get the stool fixed up for you. Well, that is just fantastic. You really do have a magic touch. In that case, I'll leave you to it. Besides, looks like you have a visitor. Morning. Sorry if I'm a little late. No apologies necessary. Last night must have been a lot to take in. You get home okay? Ha. Huh. From the trail of stomach shrimp she left, I would say she got home okay. Oh no, you saw it? I'm so sorry. It was hard to miss. It looked like you were trying to paint the whole island. But no, don't you worry. We'll take care of it. You're all new guest, after all. Maybe think to bring a bucket with you next time? Oh, crapper. It won't happen again, I swear. <sighs> well, we all got a good laugh at it. So did the whole town. Anyway, I've never talked about vomit this long with a stranger. Also, stop talking to cops. I'll be going, Jan. Thanks again. Mm hmm. Keep saying it should probably is actually yawn. Uh, this workshop is amazing. There's so much to look at. Very kind of you to say. This is a predictable consequence of drinking games. I. I guess making a fool of oneself is. I am not one that is prone to being certain kinds of ill from alcohol. So, listen, I know you'll be eager to get started today, but I think you'll, you'd benefit from having a day to get accustomed to your new home. Take the time to wander around, explore the island. Oh, really? Too late, Dad. Uh, I was kind of hoping, uh, I was kind of hoping to get stuck in. I'd be happy to help you with that boat outside. It looks stunning. Well, don't worry about it. Uh, don't worry, it's not going anywhere fast. Trust me, take the day for yourself. Talk to some people. Hmm, okay, sure, I guess. Only because you're insisting. But I'm going to work twice as hard tomorrow. I'm looking forward to it. But for now, enjoy yourself. I'm going to see to some things, but I'll see you later. Yeah, I mean, choosing not to, uh ingest poison probably not the worst decision someone could make <laughs> don't worry it's not going anywhere fast why is it a rowboat okay greg the cat you have to go you just laid on my screenshot key go please i'll see you later all right that looks like an exit
so much for getting stuck in. That... That phrasing is... unusual. <laughs> the real trick is knowing how to only slightly poison yourself. Yeah. Uh, bah, I'd much rather help out on his awesome boat. Although, I guess it's nice to take it easy with this hangover. <laughs> Just gonna high step our way through this island. Look. I'm gonna, f I've, I've meandered around the island already, but I'm gonna see if I can find people to talk to. I want to hear more about the probably shitty Mr. Nolan. What was that rustling? Is someone following me? Okay, it definitely feels like someone is following me. What if it's that gross guy from last night? Sober sis- I was mostly sober sister anyway, looking after others. That's kind of exhausting. Uh, never drink much for its effects, just its flavor. Very fair. Uh, shit, just try and stay calm. Shit. No. Go in the bush. Raise hell. You know what? The octopus will protect me. Hmm. Maybe I'm just imagining things? Oh. It's this one. Sorry. Sorry, I didn't mean to scare you. Ghosts can be scary, I know. Uh, um, yeah, you kind of did scare me. Um... Weren't you at the bar last night? And in my weird dream? We didn't really get to... Wait. Did you just say ghosts? Ha, uh, yes. It makes sense. Because you're new. Always happens with the new ones. I'm sorry to tell you this, but we're dead. I'm sorry, what? Trust me, I know all about dying. I nearly died a hundred times, maybe more. So when I say we're dead now, I mean it. Because you never forget the day you actually do die. Let me explain. What the fuck? Uh, I once told a drunk woman to a taxi after coming out of a club once I'd lost people. I know. She was wandering alone and had lost one shoe. Holy shit. Very cool of you to help, because it's a bad state to be in. See, I used to work as a fisherman. I'm sure I was a pretty good one, too. But one night, out on the sea, something was wrong. I could feel it in my bones. The clouds darkened and the water jumped and smashed me with one big mighty punch. I felt the wet all around me, inside and out. I knew that finally, this time, I would be dead for sure. True enough, when I opened my eyes, here I was. I had arrived in the afterlife. Elk. Um, I guess I can see why you would think that. Yes, exactly. Now you get it. But that isn't all. I need your help, Frigg. Please follow me. Yeah, she helped a hand which she didn't like. Yeah. Uh, but I love helping others, so it's kind of natural. Yeah. I have to check out this barrel first. Sorry, fisherman. Such a sneaky way to hide beer. There is a lot of alcohol situation happening here. Beer bottles everywhere. There's no grocery store right now. 
Wait. Anders, why did you bring me to a cave? This is my home. Come on in. Hmm. Wow, this actually seems really cozy. And oh my gosh, you have a rabbit? Uh. Yeah, that's Clumbin. She is my best friend. She's so cute. Oh yes, Clumbin is the best. But, for the reason I brought you here, Frigg. I wanted to talk to you about my parents. I have to wonder, with a brewery on the island, why they are bothering to bottle. Wouldn't you just keep everything on draft? So that... Uh, oh, the phrasing I found weird earlier was... Uh, she said that she had hoped to get stuck in today or so not stuck in like weather but like st stuck in in the work or something uh, it it was the use of the term stuck in was the weird one uh, and instead she was being sent out to meet folks Let's see I wanted to talk to you about my parents oh um okay has this got anything to do with you thinking you're dead we're all dead here, Frigg. Um, of course, I didn't mean to be rude. Please continue. Well, you see, I never knew my parents. They died when I was really young. Which must mean they're here in the afterlife, too. Let's see, maybe beer bottles last longer than kegs. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. Live in the UK and that doesn't seem weird. That must be it. I was thinking maybe translation, but so it must be. It not translation, I mean just cultural regional. That's cool. Uh, which just mean they're here too in the afterlife, but I still can't find them. Maybe if you maybe if I could remember what they look like, I'd be sure to know it's them when I see them. They probably look like you. Uh okay, that sounds logical. So what's the plan? Well, I've collected these funny people papers. I think they can help me. <laughs> I'm sure that's not the tone they are using. It's the tone I'm using. <laughs> what the fuck? They'll help me find mom and dad. Uh-huh. So where do I come in? Well, I thought since you have a mom and dad, you'll know what parents are supposed to look like. Oh. Which means... You'll know what mine should look like? Um, well, um, I guess we can give it a shot. I guess I can give it a shot. This is tragic. I bet my dad looks really beautiful, like a famous singer. Y'all, these eyes do not come in pairs. Whew. Okay. Uh. Well. Whew. A lack of uh <laughs> there's a lack of granularity in, <laughs> in my options for placement. This is a very weird game. What are you? Okay, that's what you are. This is such a weird game. That's not how. That's we're just gonna do that. Just boop the seal of approval. Oh. I feel like if you want a drinking game, drinking at every 
pun in this game. Oh, it's just remaining parts. My mom is someone really important, like a captain, a ship captain, or a banker. That would be a danger shrink game. I, I would not. I learned once. I am not a person who draws, but I remember learning at one point that eyes are far lower on the head than one thinks they are. They are at ear level. And I had not thought about that. This is extremely strange. Make her wink. Let's see. Is there a... Oh. There is a winky eye, but it's on that side. Nope, it's not on that side. It's on the other side. The fact that you cannot align things, that it's like literally impossible. <laughs> it's just... Because <laughs> there's no mouse usage in this game. It's, it's all arrow keys. So I'm sure you can hear from my clacking keyboard. Well, this is what parents look like. Amazing, Frig. That must be what they look like. Let me just put them up here. What switches do I have on this baby? Uh, you know, I don't actually know because I couldn't originally customize them. They are the default switches on the Moonlander keyboard. Um, I'm occasionally tempted to switch them out because I do have a full set of switches. Um, I have previously liked a very light clicky switch. Um, and the reason I would swap these out is to get a, a little bit lighter bounce on them. But I do tend to press my space bar by accident much less on this keyboard than I did on my old one. So, eh, I don't know. I only learn about switches when I need to care about them. I'm not a person who keeps my PC specs and my switch, my keyboard specs in my head. Uh, uh, so, oh God, they went on big stick figures. Uh, they totally don't look creepy. All thanks to you, Frigg. I'm sure to find my parents now. I know, let me get you a drink as thanks. Okay, sure, that sounds fun. Can it be water? Is there anything else to drink? I think one of the faces just winked at me. Good call, Greg. Clumbin is too cute. I wonder if Clumbin means rabbit or bunny or something. Hot dog. Look at that adorable dog. So, Frig, how did you die? Um, I didn't, Anders. I hope we fix this grocery store. That feels like a fun project. Night comes quick. Although maybe I slipped in. Everybody's here again. Except karaoke? Right then, that should do it. Finally got this your old tinker working again. Good job there, Hippe. I knew you would get it working. Ooh, yay! The music box is working. Hello! Well, aren't you two just in time? We are needing an extra pair of lungs. Clumbin means the lump. Ah, that's great. 
Whoa. Is that a karaoke machine? You, oh, you betcha it is. My Ipe loves it when I sing, don't you? Beth has the voice of a hundred sparrows. She does, Mrs. Frigg. Actually, I wouldn't mind hearing a tune now, my darling. Hold up. I better get this little lady back to ours for her sleepover then. Let the grown-ups do their thing. Oh, but I want to hear the singing. Hey now, sweetie. Remember I said you would be with Jan and Ingrid tonight? You get going and me and you can sing duets tomorrow. Promise. Okay, if you promise. Might y'all. Don't dawdle on the way home. Weather's looking nasty. So, how about it, new girl? Join me for the next song? Go ahead, Frigg. I'll get us a beer. Uh, okay, sure. No laughing at my singing, though. Alright. Next minigame. Okay, Frigg. Let's see what you got. Oh, no. Okay. Wow, that's a pretty voice you got. I like this music happening. This is it's cool. I love it. Let's get this whole island moving. Right? This music is outstanding! Whoops. Ah, there's a time window. And I busted it. Okay. Shit, who did the music for this game? <laughs> Bravo, you two. You got quite a voice there, Frigg. Woo wee! That was fun. Aw, oh, thanks. I gotta agree. We sound pretty good together. You enjoy that, my dear? Music from Andreas Busk. Isn't a busker someone who plays music on the street for change? You girls surely warm this ear heart of mine. Okay, everyone. I'm gonna start closing down. Any of you still need a drink? Not for me, thanks. I need to go feed Clumpin. <laughs> Frank, thanks again for today. Go on, then, Mrs. Bobby. Be good to have one last beer before I'm back out on the waters tomorrow. Hey, you. Remember not to get too carried away. Not unless you want to spend the night on your own. Wow. What? Oh, don't you worry. Just one more for the road. Hmm. Okay, fine. In that case, I'll walk back with this little lady. And get ready for you. Okay, darling? Ho, ho, ho. Wow. Right you are. I'll soon be following. Okay. Right then. Come on, you. You coming? Okay, sure. As long as I'm not a bother. You? A bother? Ha! Huh. Like as if I didn't already know what a real problem looks like. <laughs> Come on then, let's get a shake on. Night, Bobby. Night, Hans. Walk back safe and stay warm. From the looks of it, looks of it we're gonna get one of those cold blasts coming in. I think it's gonna be a nasty one. Oh. Whoa, Beth, look, it's snowing. That's adorable. But, uh, and look, this isn't to be a downer. But snow is pretty common around here. Oh, right. Sorry, it's just we don't get a lot of snow in Copenhagen. Really? Uh, so, um, anyway, is Yippe your boyfriend? Ha, <laughs> no. I mean, the man is a sweetheart, don't get me wrong. But no, he's my, how do I put it? He's my client. Oh. Um, huh, what are you stumbling for? Look, it may not sound glamorous, especially to a city girl, I'm sure. All you need to know is Yepe, he's a good man. 
He makes my life easier for me and my girl. God knows what Freddy likes having God knows that Freddy likes having him around, even if she doesn't understand the arrangement. He's good with her when he doesn't need to be, and I'm really grateful for that. He seems really nice. He is. I just hope Freddy doesn't forget about her daddy, George. He was a great man. Trust me, sweetie. We haven't always had it easy. I don't know that anyone on this island has it easy. I'm sorry to hear that. Well, who knows? Maybe I'll tell you about it one day. But, no. No need to be sorry. You see this smile on my face? I got plenty to smile about. Yeah, that straw is going to be extremely loud, and I do not like it. And I don't like it near the mic. Sorry about that. Anyways, I'm freezing. We should probably get heading our separate ways. Thanks for being so welcoming, Beth. I enjoyed the singing. You really do have a beautiful voice. Oh, you're sweet. I'll invite you around for some squirrel stew with me and Freddy sometime. But you get home and wrap up. Bobby wasn't kidding about that cold coming in. The snow ain't a joke. Okay, thanks again, Beth. Did she say squirrel stew? <laughs> Maybe I'm hearing things. I should go to bed. Yeah, at least I'm sober this time and I'm not going in directions opposite of what I'm pressing the buttons on. I'm exhausted now. Oh wow, I thought the snow looked harmless, but the storm is really picking up. Luckily I'm indoors, all dry and warm. Good night, Frig. Haha. <laughs> Why do I have all these weird dreams? Oh. Freddy? What are you doing here? Shouldn't you be at Jan and Ingrid's? Jan and Ingrid's? No way. I'm gonna go see my daddy. Oh, really? Well, yeah, I guess that's great. Uh. Hey, Frig. Hi, Anders. So glad you're joining me and Freddy on our trip. Uh, where exactly are we going? We're going to meet my parents. Oh, wow. You found them? Yes, thanks to your help, Frigg. I'm very concerned. Um, I'm glad I could help. Are you excited to see your parents too, Frigg? Wait, my parents? Yes, yeah, silly. Don't you miss your mom and dad? Yeah, of course I do. I've never been this far away from them before. Or for this long. Don't worry, Frigg. That's why we're all going. So I really like this water, like this watercolor style texturing on the waves moving back and forth like it's some sort of stage <laughs> play. Very cool. We both know how you feel. I've always missed my parents. I would usually dream of them while I was out fishing. My daddy used to take me fishing all the time. He would let uh, he would let me help to catch the biggest fish for dinner. I really miss those days. Oh, well, I've never fished with my dad, but we played chess together. I like it. It feels like our special thing, you know? Sure, Frig. It sounds nice. I'm sure he'll be happy to hear that when we arrive. Does the fisherman think... Freak's parents are dead? We can all tell them how much we miss them. They're going to be so happy to see us. This game is weird. Whoa. That beer is seriously giving me some insane dreams. That one made my head hurt. It looks freezing outside. I guess this is what they meant by cold blast. So happy I brought those merino yarn leggings. Oh, 
Oh. Oh. <laughs> I don't remember these those bottles being there. Maybe it's some sort of island tradition? Sue, George, and the bikers. God. It was before George went to prison when Sue and him were still young. They were each other's best friends and siblings, too. Oh, this is... This is a lot. Okay, two of them have spent most days... I'm gonna kick this cat out of this office. Uh, the two of them would spend most days hanging together at the Hermit Bar. They did not have much else to do other than drink and play cards. Hmm. Sue and George looked tough and would sometimes get themselves into trouble. Not because they wanted to, but because getting by in life meant sometimes doing things that would result in local police attention. In general, they were good people, helpful to their friends, and George was even a bit of a romantic. If they were ever fighting, it would only be with each other, when really drunk and mostly because of playing darts. It is windy and rainy. Yeah, my, if either my internet or my power goes out. I love you all. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. One day, a group of bikers arrived at the Hermit Bar. Bikers made a lot of noise when parking. You could hear they were drunk, that's uncool, and people at the bar instantly got the feeling that the bikers weren't there to make any friends. Uh, the mood at the bar immediately shifted when the bikers entered. Everyone tried to make themselves look invisible. No one was in doubt that the bikers were there looking for a good fight. And no one at the hermit bar thought fighting the bikers would be particularly fun. Sue and George did not take much notice of the bikers. They continued their card game, which clearly provoked them. The Ming, the bikers, I'm guessing. One of the bikers tripped over one of the guests' beer, so it smashed against the wooden floor with a loud crash and splash. Sue and George stood up from their table, and all the bikers started walking towards them, of course with the boss up front. The guests at the bar started to liven up a bit, excited to see what George and Sue would do now. The biker boss picked up a bottle and tossed it from hand to hand, inviting Sue and George to take the next step. Ooh. Found the band camp for triple topping? Cool. Uh, be careful, George said. I think he might well hit you with that bottle, Sue. Sue quickly also grabbed a bottle from the bar, looked at George and said, I wonder if that would hurt. And then, without blinking, Sue smashed the bottle against her own head shattering it, whiskey running down her face. Smiling. Nope, didn't feel a thing. The biker boss silently put his bottle back on the table, and one by one, the bikers all sheepishly left the hermit bar. Yeah, the music in this game is so good. Um, yeah, don't smash liquor bottles against anyone. That's bad. That's bad. So, I have a question about this game's storytelling that it wants to be about. Okay, so I will reiterate something I said at the beginning, which is that this game is about or includes uh, real life stories, sort of anonymized characters change, names change, etc. So presumably, Sue George and the Biker's story is about actual people in Meat Space who did a thing, in part. Um, it feels very jarring to be dropped into a wall of text as, as sort of how this story is being told. Uh, that does not feel great. When Anders died. 15 paragraphs. I'm not reading this. Not, not now. 
Whoa. Someone wrote some kind of story about what happened the other night? Weird, but kind of cool? Message in a bottle style. Wow, it all looks so different. Ah, the easel is covered. So my character just said about the story that happened the other night. Except that that was not that story. It's clearly overlap with that story. The bottle smashing. But it was not bikers the other night. It was the shitty Mr. Sun. walking. Still so good. Do I have a destination? I do. Okay. This is not the way to it, but I sort of see what's different. I've seen that kind of text in other games. Control. This does seem different, though. Interesting. Morning there, Frig. Getting some of that cold, fresh air in you? Hi! Yeah, wow. Fresh is one way of putting it. Ha! Well, you'll get used to it soon enough. Actually, it's good I bumped into you. Jan's out running an error right now, so why don't you keep me company? It's my morning off, and I want a nice thick coffee. Ooh, at the hermit. Oh, well, that sounds lovely. Sure. It sounds gross when you say it that way, but I guess one of the things I like about a French press is that it is a... a thicker taste. Honey, let's get you out of this cold. Sure. Morning, Bobby. Two of your strongest coffees, please. Already on the stove, hun. You two managed to keep warm, then? Standing on that pier all day with that wind howling. Pfft, this cold is like a tickle. Ha, we ain't all born of the sea like you are, Ingrid. What about you, Frigg? I won't lie. It's gonna take some getting used to. But wow, the snow sure is pretty, though, right? Ha, I'll hold you to that, hon. Has anyone seen Yepe? Beth, you okay? Where's your coat? You're shaking, hon. You must be freezing. You don't understand. He didn't. He didn't come home last night. Okay, take a deep breath. Bobby can bring you... Can, uh, can you bring Beth some coffee? Frigg, come on. Me and you will go out and take a look. No man should be sitting out in this weather. I'm coming too. Beth, hon, you're catching a cold. I ain't sitting still. He's in trouble, I know it. Okay, I get you, hon. I'll stay here to let others know, and uh, just in case he shows up. Thanks. Okay, we gotta find him. I can't lose him. Come on then, let's get moving. The quicker the better. What's going on? If his boat is still on the dock and I can't find the tractor. I can't find the tractor? It's missing. Didn't show up at best last night after drinking. This doesn't sound good. Okay, let's get looking. Wait, Jan, where's Freddy? Don't you worry, she's out in the snow with Sue. She's safe, I promise. Okay, okay, good. Thanks. God. Well, okay, let's go. Let's spread out and look. Okay. And I am going to take a break and stretch. Probably switch my desk to standing. So, uh, it won't take long. A couple minutes. And I'm going to kick this cat out who keeps wanting to get into trouble. So, BRB.
Why, hello. <sighs> I'm back, obviously. I also had a couple of bites of cranberry sauce that I made today. It's delicious. So, all right. We are looking for a lost lamb. Nolan beer, not an option. Let me know if my audio is weird on my mic. I'm standing now, so the angles are a little different. It's probably fine. I hurt my back about a week and a half ago now, and it is on the mend, but it is reinforcing how good it is to sit and stand every some alternating time frequency which at least I can go an hour and a half now instead of the 20 or so minutes that I was struggling with before I'm gonna go see if there's anything sus at the docks nope my little worried face. Beer bottle floating out in the water. I guess I should probably talk to him. This looks like um, car tracks. Those are tractor tracks. That'll be the tractor, all right. But where's it gone to? Tractor came down, right? Can't remember if it was up this hill or it started low. Huh. Uh oh. Oh no. Is he. He's not. <sighs> this ain't right. The poor drunken fool. Yippee? Yippee, wake up! I'm sorry, Beth. I'm so sorry, my sweet. Maybe the Martin boy could... No. No, there's no need. Nothing a doctor can do now. Bless his soul, but there ain't nothing any of us can do for him. At least it was peaceful. It must have gone in his drunken sleep. Did not expect this, like... I mean, I knew there was going to be death in this game, and obviously there kind of has been. No. No, come on. There must be something we can do, right? He can't be... He's not dead. I saw him just last night. No, Ingrid's right. Goddamn fool. My poor, poor Hippe. I'm sorry, Beth. I really am. I can't imagine how upsetting this is. We've all known him for so many years, and my heart is breaking. Come on. Let's go get Freddy. No good will come from staring. It's not fair. I know, my love. I know. Let me walk you away from here. Mm-hmm. We'll help here and come by after. Thank you both. We'll see you later. I'm real sorry to ask this of you, Frigg, but to live out on these harsh rocks on the sea, it's a tough life. And right now, in this moment, we gotta focus on doing what's right. I can't believe this is happening. We take it one step at a time. There are a lot of emotions are going on right now. But for now, we just focus on the practical. We'll do it together. I, I don't, I don't understand. We're just going to focus on what we need to do first, which is helping move the body. See that sled over there? Let's carry him on to that so he's easier to move. I know it's a lot, but you think you can manage it? Um, 
Um, okay, yeah, I think so. I mean, of course, yes. Whatever I can do. Holy shit. This is a mini game. Sort of. Uh, let's take it, take it easy, Frig. Let's just close his eyes for now. It's like the mortician's tale, but not. Good. Now let's pick him up. Make sure to get a firm grip under his head. One, two, three, and up. I am prepared for this. Got him? Okay, good. Oh, okay. Let's figure out what my next action was. Now, just keep holding him like that as you walk forward towards me. That's it, Frig. You're doing great. Just a little further. Why didn't we bring the sled over? This is beautiful. And again, this music is amazing. And stop walking. I'm having to hold forward. Frig. Frig, you okay? We can put him down now. Probably not okay. That's it. Oh no, the flowers did end up on him. That's, that's great. Thank you, Frigg. I know that wasn't easy. For either of us. I'll handle it from here. I'll push Yepe to Clara. Then I'll go talk to Beth. Poor girls, the both of them. As if they hadn't been through enough. I feel so helpless. They're, they're strong. They'll get through this. We all will. We always do. I wish I could do more. You've done so much, Frigg. The best thing is to go home and rest. We'll talk soon. I promise. Okay, I will. Thanks, Jan. I'll see you soon, and... And I hope Beth will be okay. said go home. I like that I leave footprints. It's pretty adorable. An appropriate expression, yes. That is... That is a good, a good frowny face. just tells me to go home. Oh, there's a person in my house. Hi there, Frigg. What the fuck? I'm going to tell you the story about the time I found a man who was going to kill me. It was a few years ago. I was a young tømmer and I had taken work up in a little city in the north here. Jeg kan tydeligt huske, at det var en mandag morgen, hvor min makker Jeppe og jeg vi mødtes som sædvanligt og tog vores lille ladbil ud til værkstedet, som var den sidste bygning ud mod Ødemark. Og vi gjorde det, det sædvanlige. Om mandagen der rullede vi altid op på værkstederne og kørte affaldet over på dumpen, som jo egentlig bare er en losseplads, hvor man graver stort hul i jorden og smider alle affaldet ned og dækker det til igen. På vejen hjem er det så småt begyndt at blive lyst. Da vi kører over broen på smeltevandshælden, så opdager Jeppe, som jo var langsynet, at øh, der var en bil, der var en lille bil, der var kørt ned af børnenes kælkebakke, 
og der lå en mand på jorden ude for øh, milisen. Og vi skyndte os at køre derhen og løbe op ad bakken. Vi tror, at ulykken lige er sket. Og så vender vi manden om, og så får vi et chok, fordi at, øh, hans øjne de er sådan karakaleret lidt som knus glas. Han har to sådan røde hugtænder ud af munden, fordi han har slået munden, og det har blødt. Det er så frosset, fordi det var meget koldt den nat. Det frøs 38 grader. Og samtidig var hans skjorte øh, det var sådan åben. Han var rigtig dårlig klædt på. Og så vi rev noget af hans maveskin af, da vi vendte ham op, så han frosset fast i isen. Så vi var meget chokeret og forskrækket, og Jeppe sagde, at han er, han er færdig, ham der, han er død. Øh, vi skyndte os at ringe efter en lægeambulance, og derefter satte vi os ind i kaffestuen i vores håndværkerbrak, som vi lå lige ved siden af, for at lige at sunde os lidt. Ambulancen kom ret hurtigt efter, og lægen undersøgte manden, og de kørte væk med ham. Og lægen kommer så ind til os i kaffestuen og skiller os ud, fordi vi havde... Vi ikke havde prøvet at øve førstehjælp til ham, og vi skulle med det samme undersøge, om han var lænestiv, fordi så kunne det være, at man kunne redde ham. Det havde vi ikke noget om, og vi blev ked af, at vi måske havde svigtet en, som, som kunne reddes. Senere der ringede lægen dog så efter nogle timer til os og undskyldte. De havde undersøgt ham og undersøgt sagen, og det viser sig, at det var en person, som var den sidste aften, han skulle være i byen, så han rejste derfra, han ville holde. Og, han har derfor været sammen med sine venner øh, om aftenen før og drukket temmelig meget alkohol. Alligevel var han kørt hjem i sin lille bil og kørt op på, på sådan et plateau, hvor der er parkeringsplads. Man kommer til at køre for langt frem i sin brænder der og ruser ned af børnenes kælkebak. Bilen sætter sig fast, og så går han ud af bilen og falder. Og på grund af den stærke kulde, dårlig påklædning og hans dårlige konduktion, og hans meget høje alkoholprocent, så sagde lægen, der ville gå i 5-10 minutter, så ville han være bevidstløs, og kort efter ville han dø. Så vi kunne ikke have gjort noget af alle omstændigheder. Det er en historie, jeg engang imellem tænker på, også selvom man sidder her i dagens sommerdag, og så tænker på, at dengang, der var det altså 40 grader koldere end det, jeg sidder i nu. Så ja. Okay. So this game is doing weird things. This game suddenly got more interesting. Huh. Okay. So now we kind of have three ways of telling stories in this game. One of them is having them play out. One of them is reading them. Because there's four ways. So, having them play out, reading them, um, a certain amount of flashbacking in, like, I haven't seen my parents, sort of reminiscing, and then, apparently, real-life humans telling their story through real-life FMV, I guess, footage. Hmm. Wait, where did he... It's been a long day. I need to just lie down. I'm feeling dizzy. Yes, this reminds me of Dujana, this reminds me of... Um, there's still Mutazione sort of vibes to this, um, although it's not as fantastical. But yeah, Dujan is a good, a good pull, which, I don't know if anyone didn't watch me stream that, I do recommend, uh, it's got some weird, heavy-handed, deliberately provocative political shit in it uh but i play that game top to bottom and really uh it, it's an experience that 
I think is worth having, and it's a beautifully crafted game. Okay, I was beginning to wonder if this boat would fill up with people. Oh. So those aren't just beer bottles. Those look like messages in a bottle type bottles. Flowers. Um, hello? Is anyone there? Mom? Dad? Really wish I could hear from you right now. Oh. It's not connected. Well, I guess I'm on a boat. But I just wanted to hear from someone. Brief pause. I had not caught that the, I guess the masthead of this boat is the sort of llama-like figure that we see on flags and stuff in this town. Hey, so many bottles. They look like they have letters inside. Like the one showing up in my house. Are these letters for me? Act two. Huh. Okay. Something weird is going on. These dreams are messing with me. Oh shit. I just remembered about Yepe. I really could do with talking to someone. Uh, the animal might just be an elk. Oh, they don't all always have antlers. Okay. No network. I can't even check Instagum. Okay. Let's let's look at these apps. We have Facebook, Instagum, MeTube, TikTok, Snapcat. Was up? <laughs> Swatafly, spaghetti. I don't know what that one is mimicking. Spit kiss. Which is their game? Phone messages. Carpentera. Okay. Some sort of carpentering. Social media or research or whatever. Or oh, it may be a dating app. This this is hard. Instagum. Uh, no. Come on, you. We didn't come here to mope. It's true that yesterday was tough, but positive energy. Happy thoughts. You don't have to have happy thoughts, my friend. It's okay to be sad. Oh, God. Another bottle message? Should I read it? Hmm. We are gonna... Yeah, we're gonna look at the first paragraph of this. 14 paragraphs. We called him a tall whiskey a day. He worked at the weather station. We did this because he was a good man with a lot of humor who could drink a whole bottle of whiskey a day and still do a good job at the weather station. So this is a third way this story is being told. So we have two ways to tell this breaking a bottle over someone's head story. Intimidating Thea. We have... a second way to hear about how Anders died. Oh, yes. It's creepy. And then we have a third Frozen Man story. Because this is not the same. This is about a ski slope. Interesting. Okay. But this game is not... This game is not trying to find a truth. It's There's no... I think, very pleasantly, not interested in resolving... Uh, what is real, not real, true, not true about these stories. I should head to Jan's workshop. Doing some woodwork will calm my brain. I wonder what would happen if I left my door open.
Was this place completely boarded up before? I know it was yesterday. Was it completely boarded up when I got here? No, this is the one that was broken, I think. And I was like, hey, it'd be cool to restore this. And then it's been boarded over. Nope, not that way. Did I get the location wrong? I did. Is looking so cool. Um, it also kind of looks familiar. Oh, so the dream. Oh, it kind of is close to the dream boat. Look at that hook up front. Put some ears on that puppy, and uh, it'll be an elk. Oh, God. The amount of crap that man has in that workshop. It's nothing but a shrine of shit. I wonder. If there is a a rule, a grammatical rule about when to use shit versus shite in UK English. <laughs> uh, but didn't he agree to help take a look at our scooter? Well, of course he fucking did. No one says no to me. That's true, Leroy. Tell you what, though. The sounds his machines were making didn't half make me think of the goat. Well, talking about the goat, uh, if it isn't my pedal, uh, hello or whatever. Why are you calling me a goat? Har har, oh pedal, not you. I never confuse a lady. The goat is another special friend of mine, lives on a nearby island. So we call her the goat, because when we get to the down and dirty, she squeals. I'm being recorded saying these words. Uh, and I'm not talking any regular old pissy squeal. Yeah, the lady's not confused about this guy. I ain't talking a loud, breathless shriek. It's loud like only a goat worthy of its name could muster. Who boy. Har, har, har. Are you okay with this redhead? He's so goddamn gross. <laughs> Why did I let him get away with saying that? I should have said something. Ugh. Relatable. Hi, Jan. Morning, Frigg. How are you feeling? If I'm being honest? Sad? Yeah. Me too. The whole island's heard the news by now. Everyone's heartbroken. I'd, um, never seen a dead person before. Sigh. I've seen too many. It doesn't get any easier, but I really appreciate you helping the way you did. Actually, I was hoping you could help me with another job. Oh god. Oh, yes please. Working is the distraction I need right now. Well, that's great, but what it is, Beth was asking for some help over at her place. You see, I'm a little tied up right now, but I think it's good if we can help her. Would you mind going over there and seeing what she needs? Oh, um, I was kind of her hoping to work on something more like that cool boat. Sure, it's just that this is more urgent. But I promise it's worthwhile. Yes, of course, sorry. Should have said yes right away. Beth needs our help. No idea how I'm supposed to talk to her after what just happened, though. Thanks, Frigg, that's great. No problem. I'm going to... Turn on an additional light. Maybe not that one. That one didn't help. Turn on the bright one. Okay. Sorry. <sighs> you can count on me. Oh, sorry. One last quick thing. Uh, I met a... I don't know how much longer I'll play. Maybe... See how this next little scene goes? Um... 
but not too much longer. This is... It's not... It's not getting into some things I thought it could or might. Uh, oh, look, there's a mechanical bird in the middle of a mouse in the top middle of the screen. Let's see. Um, I met a guy last night in my house. <laughs> okay. An old guy with a white beard. He was wearing a checkered shirt. He was in the house and uh, he told me the story. The story was like what had happened with Yepe, but different? Hmm. Frig, I'm sorry, but I know everyone on this island and there's no one I know who fits that description. Unless you're talking about me. You sure you're feeling okay? Huh, oh yeah, maybe it was a dream. Never mind. Okay, haha, ha. I'm going now. See you later. Yeah, it's hard because this. There are acts in the game, so, you know, one would guess three, four, five, right? Something in that, in that range of number of acts. But there's not a. Yeah, there's not like a, a gameplay loop in that sort of sense of like here's what a day consists of uh, or here's an, a set of I, I'm doing four things today uh, wow that was embarrassing am I going crazy? I definitely met that man in my house looks like those creeps are gone thank god anyway for now I should help go help Beth Oh. Okay. I looked when I looked up the how long to be on this game, it was forever ago. So I do not remember how long the game is at all. I don't think I figured I would beat it. Oh, that grave of the flowers. That must be for Yepe. Bye. Speed runs. Speed runs? I'm going to have to watch a speed run of this. Kind of going in the opposite. Oh, I see, I'm curving around. That's. Oh, okay. stuck. Sorry, I didn't mean to make you stop. That sounded really beautiful, Beth. Thank you, sweetie. Nice to see a kind face. Did Jan send you? He did. Um, how are you doing? Well, I've been better, as you can imagine. I can't even begin to. It's hard, Frigg. I miss him already, and I worry for my Freddy. Having to say bye to another man in her life. But, I swear, no misery is going to keep me and my little girl down. Not then, and certainly not now. Beth, you're so strong. You think so? Well, how about I trade you that compliment for a favor instead? Oh, right, sure. How can I help? Since you asked, I'm going to have to do more to provide my Yepe business with, uh, with Yepe gone. Which means being resourceful. So, as you can see, our cabin is next to some tall grass and bushes, which is the perfect place to catch some tasty squirrels. But my traps are all busted up. So I was hoping y'all, or in this case, or you in this case, could fix me up a new one. A trap for squirrels? Mom, mom, I got my hand stuck again. Shit, not again. Coming, Freddy. Sorry, sweetie, I gotta go grab her. I'll leave you to it. There's some scrap in the wheelbarrow. Thanks, Frigg. I believe in you. 
Have you ever built a trap? Um. <laughs> I've never made a trap before. That's me asking the important questions. Let's give it a go. I need to get a golf ball on top of the scales to activate the trap. You cannot make me hold spacebar to drag this. You can. Can I rotate this? Nope. Where are all these balls going? Are they just disappearing? It's the Incredible Machine. I love that game as a kid. I have never heard of it. I'm guessing it's a Rube Goldberg construction device game. Oh, in the path of the falling balls, I see. What if I... Okay, so these are not gonna... These are not gonna do a lot. Hmm. Whoops. This might be where I stop? Just the awkwardness of this interface? Like, if I do this, will they follow and... Okay. Okay, so there's some physics happening here. I don't even understand what this device is. That looks like... Is that a spring? Oh no. Oh no, I lost it. Oh no, it's still back down there. Oh, I see. I see what you mean. I'm not bound by physics. Oops. That's fun. Okay. if I take the sim simplistic approach? Not too simplistic. But not involving any wheels. very silly. I'll do this more boringly. <laughs> oh, wow. Look at my ridiculous trap. Look, Mom, Freak made a, um, what is it, Mom? Don't be rude, sweetie. It's a squirrel trap. It is a squirrel trap, right? Of course. It should work, no problem. At least, I hope it does. Ha, huh, I hope so, for our sake. But no, it looks fine. It was really good of you to come over. Let me take you to the hermit for a drink. Maybe we should drink less. Mr. Bo is giving a wake for Yippe. It'd be wrong of me to miss it. Okay. Can I come? I don't want to school today. I want to say bye to Yepe too. Sweetie, you know there ain't nothing more important than you getting that learning. Aw. 
Can I at least go say hi to Anders first? Hmm. Okay. But we all better get a move on then. I'm getting a taste for that Nolan beer. So it sounds like a plan to me. Okay. I will do the wake and call it at that point. That feels like a good stopping point. So I'm a little over two hours in, which let's call that an hour and a half if I hadn't been reading everything aloud. Maybe an hour and a quarter. So let's say maybe halfway through the three hours on how long to beat. That's, it's still weird pacing. Okay, mom, I'm gonna go draw. Let's see, sure, just don't be late for Sue, you hear? I won't. Oh. Huh, well, would you look at that? Oh, what a lovely painting. That'll be Ingrid. She has a way of expressing a moment, bless her. Sigh. Oh, yeppe. You're right, the wait could be long. I think I will call it after this little convo. We should do something. Let's have a drink. A toast to Yepe. That sounds really nice, Beth. But we don't have anything to drink? Ah, but you see, that's where you're wrong. Sue hides beer around town so she never gets thirsty. Poor Sod thinks no one knows. That's so sneaky. Yeah, and the wake. Another thing about the wake is it will involve a ton more reading. Well then. To Yepe. To Yepe. Okay. Phew. Chugging over here. Let's keep going. This town has a real collective drinking problem. More drinks to be had, and I'm sure a lot more crying to follow. Okay. I'm gonna call it here. Um, so. Oh, there's a fish up there. Uh, so this, <laughs> this is, uh, Welcome to Elk. It's by, uh, Triple Topping, which is a Danish studio, I think. Yes. Um, this is a game about storytelling. in a certain way, sort of. Uh, it is on Itch and Steam and Switch. It's on a bunch of places, uh, so it is readily available. I am curious what will happen. I will probably, especially because it's so short, I'll probably finish it off stream um, and just find out what the fuck happens and if this resolves ourselves in any kind of meaningfully interesting way. Uh, but yes, so, Future Proof Games. That's us. All of our stuff is at futureproofgames.com. Our games are on sale right now. There's been a little chatbot posting, but we are, our games are all 60% off on Itch right now and 50% off on Steam. Uh, and uh, we will, there's also a bundle coming up that we're going to be in, which is the TTRPGs for trans rights in Florida. We are not in Florida. Um, but uh, we will be in that, so keep an eye on, on Twitter or wherever you follow us uh, to, uh, to hear when that starts. Uh, and yes, thank you, Calmly and Velvet, for hanging out. Uh, have a delightful afternoon, evening, whatever time of day it is for you. <laughs> and uh, thanks for hanging out. <laughs>